As many schools were severely damaged with destroyed in the earthquakes in Nepal, many children are currently out of school. Knowing that education cannot wait, today's fifth disaster relief and medical team decided to offer lessons at the Mansour Ritan community in Bhaktapur. But first, we meet Nepalese entrepreneur Narish Dugard, who offered the volunteers tremendous support and assistance to make sure today's relief effort in Nepal went smoothly. From very first day, I'm with them and I'm trying my best to help them whatever I can. Sharing his experience with Master Jingyan through a video conferencing call is Norish Dugar, who has been collaborating with the city volunteers for nearly three weeks. From arranging transportation to the disaster zone to finding drivers, Mr. Dugar makes it a point to help out wherever he can. Mr. Dugar is one of the top three leading entrepreneurs in Nepal and owns many different companies. He has helped us gather and purchase all the relief items. Ciji's relief effort in Nepal owes its success to the assistance of Mr. Dugar. Inspired by Ciji's spirit of great love, Mr. Dugar has made helping the needy his first priority. I don't know what happened inside me. Whenever they called me, I, uh, in spite of my busy schedule or in spite of my meeting, I, I don't know, it never came no from my uh, mouth. I always said yes, whenever they called me. And uh, we had a great discussion and I really f felt that Chuzi is really doing a great job for earthquake victim in Nepal. Although the road to recovery is still very long, Mr. Dugar believes that Jing Zavrizems and the volunteers can broaden his horizons and continue to change his life for the better. Despite the scorching sun, this 10-day-old baby still sleeps soundly at the Mansori Tan community in Bhaktapur. A local tries to separate the wheat from the chaff. The poor and its citizens will come each day at their own pace. Very nice, right? Today's disaster relief and medical team has set up a temporary classroom in the Tang community. Every day, we can teach one or two genes aphorisms to these children. We will also pass on environmentally friendly concepts. I think practicing recycling is something that we can promote in this community. Children here are very innocent. They are willing to accept the knowledge we pass on to them. Follow me. Father! Father! Mother! Mother! Despite the harsh learning environment, children here are still eager to learn. Please write your hand. Speak, speak. Kind words. Kind words. Okay. We want to make sure these children can learn to behave while having a fun time learning. This is a challenge for all of us, but we are still very happy. Team members also encourage the children to embrace the practice of recycling to safeguard the planet. In no time, the Chen community is clean and tidy once again. By partaking in today's lessons, the children not only absorb the meaning behind each Jing's avarism, but also learn the importance of recycling. We love to see.